Imagine having the keys to an empire of wealth beyond your wildest dreams. In the murky corridors of European power, a dynasty stands, their command shaping the fate of an entire continent. Welcome to an exclusive journey into the world of the Wallenberg family, the richest and most influential dynasty in Europe. In the murky corridors of European power, their command shapes the fate of an entire continent. Their holdings reign over an amalgamation of conglomerates and institutions with a colossal market capitalization of a staggering $800 billion. Today, we unveil the secrets of their wealth, their sprawling business empire, and their intriguing history. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on captivating stories like this. Without further ado, let's begin our journey into the mysterious world of the Wallenberg family. Wallenberg family, richest family in Europe. The Beginning the Wallenberg family is a prominent Swedish business dynasty that has played a significant role in Swedish and international finance for several generations. The family's wealth and influence stem from their extensive holdings in the banking, industrial, and investment sectors. The most notable figure in the Wallenberg family is Raoul Wallenberg, who gained worldwide recognition for his humanitarian efforts during World War II. However, Raoul Wallenberg is not directly related to the Wallenberg business dynasty. As you must have already guessed, the Wallenbergs are a prominent Swedish family and the most powerful business dynasty in Europe. The Wallenberg family are known as bankers, businessmen, politicians, bureaucrats, diplomats, and military men. Wallenberg's family's asset and investments. The empire consists of 16 Wallenberg foundations, Foundation Asset Management AB FAM, Investor AB, and Wallenberg Investment AB. In the 1970s, the Wallenberg family company employed 40% of Sweden's industrial workforce and accounted for 40% of the total value of the Stockholm Stock Exchange. As of 2015, the family still owned a third of all Swedish stock exchanges. As of 2023, the Wallenberg area still contain approximately 370 companies. The Wallenberg Zone holdings employ about 1 million people, and the combined market capitalization of the Wallenberg Zone holdings amounts to about $800 billion. In the early 20th century, the Wallenbergs expanded their business empire by establishing several investment companies, such as Investor AB and EQT Partners. These entities allow the family to invest in various industries and acquire significant stakes in numerous Swedish and international corporations. Their investment philosophy focused on long-term ownership and active involvement in the companies they invested in. During the mid-20th century, the Wallenberg family exerted considerable influence over Swedish industry, holding substantial stakes in major companies like Ericsson, SKF, and etc. They also controlled important strategic sectors, including finance, defense, and telecommunications. Companies in the Wallenberg area include Swedish multinationals and other European industrial groups, such as world-leading telecommunications multinational Ericsson, Scandinavia and Skilda Banken, a leading bank in Scandinavia and the Baltics. World's largest stock exchange Nasdaq Incorporated, formerly Swedish company Ophuns Meklema, world's first private electronic exchange. The ABB Group, a world leader in electrification, automation, and robotics, and Stora Enso, the world's oldest limited liability company, one of the world's largest paper and pulp multinationals. There's also Vatsile, Electrolux, SAAB, which is one of Europe's largest aerospace and weapons manufacturers, Scandinavian Airlines, SAS Group, SKF, Atlas Copco, manufacturer of compressors, vacuum and air handling systems, construction equipment, power tools and assembly systems, Europe's fourth largest pharmaceutical multinational, AstraZeneca, Husqvarna, Manufacturer of outdoor power products, consumer watering products, 
cutting equipment and diamond tools. Sobi Epiroc, a mining and infrastructure business company. Investor AB, an investment conglomerate. Grand Group Hotel. Hagenus AB, and Europe's second largest public company, with portfolio companies such as EQT Partners in Europe, Asia, and the US. Previous holdings include Scania AB, the world's fifth largest truck manufacturer, SAAB Automobile, and Alfa Laval. The Wallenbergs allocate 2 billion Swedish kronor each year to science and research through the Nut and Alice Wallenberg Foundation making the Knut and Alice Wallenberg Foundation one of the largest private research foundations in Europe. It has been awarded 31.2 billion Swedish kronor in grants to date. History of the Wallenberg Family Moreover, the Wallenberg family traces its roots back to André Oskar Wallenberg, who founded Stockholms and Skilda Bank, now SEB, in 1856. The bank became one of the most influential financial institutions in Sweden and played a vital role in the country's industrialization and economic development. However, the earliest known member of the Wallenberg patrilineal line is Per Hansen, 1670-1741. The farmer of Herzberger Farm in Skalskin Parish, outside Linköping, Ostergotland, who died in 1692. He married Kirstin Jakob's daughter Schut, 1671-1752. The couple had three sons. One of his sons, Reverend Anders, adopted the name Hartsman and became the ancestor of the Hartsman family, while his other two sons, county sheriffs Jacob and Hans, adopted the name Wahlberg. Jacob Wahlberg has been married twice, first to Marta Christina Tilbury, daughter of Inspector Eric Tilbury, and then to Anna Christina Tilbury, daughter of Reverend Marcus Ionis Tilbury. His children from his second marriage took the surname Wallenberg, and the eldest son became Marcus Wallenberg, a lecturer in theology and rector of Soraka. His younger brother, Jacob Wallenberg, was a chaplain for the Swedish East India Company and author of the classic Swedish travelogue. The first economist was Andre Oscar Wallenberg, he was the son of a bishop. Marcus Wallenberg used to say that the early Wallenbergs had no immediate financial aptitude as they used to joke every time the Marshallese was played and it was his financial aptitude that made him a banker. So people heard it and wondered. Marcus further explains that his grandfather, the bishop, had been a seminarian at Uppsala in the 1790s, a member of a music quartet and played the violin cello and played Marshallese and Marshallese on Valpurgi night. Marcus Wallenberg was the eldest son of Reverend and Reverend Marcus Wallenberg and the only child from his marriage to Sarah Helena Kinander. Marcus Wallenberg studied at Uppsala University in the early 1790s and was promoted to Master of Philosophy in 1797 and graduated law the same year. In 1800s, he became associate professor of Roman oratory. But after a so-called musical process, he was forced to leave Uppsala in the same year and moved to Lund, where Anna, the daughter of Andreas Barfoz, professor of anatomy at the University of Lund, got married to Laurentia Balfoz. In 1802, he became notary of Lind shopping, and in 1805, he became associate professor of Greek at the University of Lind shopping where he translated the Iliad and the Odyssey from Greek into Swedish. He was ordained in 1817, promoted to Doctor of Divinity around the time of the ascension of Charles XIV Johann, and from 1819 to 1833, was Bishop of the Diocese of Linköping. He attended Riksdags in 1823 and 1828 to 1830. In 1801, he was elected a member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Music and in 1821, an honorary member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Literature, History and Archaeology. Marcus Wallenberg was also involved in Freemasonry and was a member of the Masonic Lodges in Malmo and Lund, Scania. He was also one of the founders of one of the Masonic Lodges in Linköping and later became its Grand Master. Wallenberg's Business Model and Controversies
The Wallenbergs are known for their discreet and low-key approach to business. They typically operate behind the scenes, using their financial expertise and extensive network to shape the Swedish business landscape. The family has often been described as one of the world's most powerful dynasties due to their economic influence and involvement in various sectors. Despite their success and wealth, the Wallenberg family has also faced controversies and criticism. They have been accused of exercising undue control over the Swedish economy and exerting excessive influence over government policies. Nevertheless, they remain an integral part of Sweden's business elite and continue to be actively involved in philanthropy and social initiatives. The family has been heavily involved in international business. SEB was an important participant in the importation of foreign capital that was crucial for pre-World War I Swedish economic development, in particular for the construction of railways. Later, the family played a key role in the development of Sweden's major export industries, especially the export of engineering products. By no means the wealthiest family in Europe, the Wallenbergs have maintained control over their dominant industrial sphere thanks to the judicious utilization of the SEB, holding companies, family-controlled foundations, and shares with the disparate voting power. And there you have it, an inside look at the Wallenberg family, Europe's richest dynasty. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.